Hey, my entrepreneur friends. Today's video is about an important question that I received from one entrepreneur the other day. And the question is, how can I meet the needs of all employees? The answer to that is much simpler than you might think. Have a look at this video to find what the answer is. Hey, I'm Armin L. Rao, the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur and initiator of the Global Life Community. This video is about a question on how you can satisfy the needs of every employee. It was given to me by one of my entrepreneur friends the other day and this video is my answer to this question. If you like the contents of this video, please give us a like and don't forget to share with the community so that other entrepreneurs can benefit too. Hit the bell if you want to be informed regularly about new contents. Now, this question is quite an interesting one. How to meet the needs of all employees. Why is this the wrong question or the wrong approach? That is my firm belief. It is absolutely wrong to have that goal to meet the needs of all employees, to satisfy all employees. It's a common goal of late stage entrepreneurs or young entrepreneurs who start leading teams. The thing here is, the simple answer is you can't satisfy everyone. Why? Now, everyone has preferences more people, more preferences. So with a certain team size, it will not be manageable anymore to satisfy everybody's needs and not desirable either. Because if you wanted to do that, your position would be blurred so much that nobody would understand you anymore. And in addition, you would have to contradict yourself all the time because you are trying to satisfy everybody. Now, this is not possible. Don't have this as a goal to satisfy everybody in your team. Now, your question might be, what should I do instead? And here's what I would like to recommend. Number one, communicate very clearly what the duties of every employee are, because then everybody knows how to behave. And it is not so much about satisfying their needs, but about them being okay with what their duties are. Number two, also communicate the rights, what is allowed in your company and, uh, com and combined with that, define the rules of behavior, interaction, the processes in your company. That gives you a clear frame. Number four, make it clear that decisions once taken, they need the commitment of everyone. So even the people who are not in line with a decision, they have to support the decision because otherwise you know the thing you're going to be all over the place and there will be no clear direction number five make clear what the consequences are in case of non-compliance not following the rules but also the positive consequences when following the rules uh, number six very important once you have defined that and everybody knows what to do and what not to do act 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 so you act on these rules and you ask your team to respect these rules too. And number seven, you review what has happened and you continuously improve the behavior of yourself and of the team. So like this, you are kind of satisfying everybody's needs because everybody is clear about what is allowed and what not what the rules of the game are. If you would like to improve your leadership skills and solve problems of a similar ilk, feel free to register for a free consulting session with me. It's a session where we talk about your current challenge, we talk about your vision, where you want to be in about a year, for example, in terms of leading the people, leading the business and last but not least, leading yourself. And we will define and create a plan that brings you from your situation today to the future. It's not about sales. I'm not selling you anything. It's a clear help for your current problem. If then you decide to work with me, that's fine. But that is not the 
imminent goal of this free consulting session. This was Armin L. Rao from A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.